At least nine patients died when a fire tore through a hospital in Iran's northern city of Rasht, state media said. The fire at Game Hospital broke out. The state broadcaster IRIB said, adding that it had been put out and investigators were working to determine what had caused it. According to initial findings, the deceased were patients in an intensive care unit. Dozens of firefighters were deployed to the scene, as the head of the emergency services in the city said in an interview with state television. Chief of the city fire department, Sharam Momani, said on state TV that an electric short circuit in the basement, which harbors the intensive care unit, malfunctioned, causing the fire. Momani said emergency workers rescued more than 140 people, patients and hospital staff, after being trapped because of the smoke, and that 120 of them were hospitalized in other medical facilities. He added that an investigation has been ordered. Unfortunately, nine people lost their lives in this fire accident, said Mohammad Taghi Ashobi, president of the Jilin University of Medical Sciences in Rasht. He told State TV that most of the patients who died were hospitalized in the intensive care unit. According to the reports, the hospital has 250 beds and 142 of them were occupied at the time of the fire. In November 2023, a massive blaze ripped through a drug rehab center in Langarud City, also in Jilin Province, killing 32 people. In June 2020, 19 people died in a powerful explosion caused by gas canisters that caught fire at a clinic in northern Tehran. Ukraine loses precious warplanes, Forbes named the most dangerous Ukrainian airfield. The Ukrainian Air Force base Dolgint Sevo is one of the most vulnerable bases in Ukraine. Located near Krivoy Rog, just 45 miles from the front line, the base is within range of Russian Landsat drones. Forbes writes that the Landsats carried out at least four strikes on aircraft in Dolint Sevo, two MiG-29s and two Su-25s. The first two strikes last fall took the Ukrainian Air Force by surprise. The third strike in November apparently hit a non-flying decoy aircraft although some experts believe that the plane was fully functional. The Ukrainian government knows that it has problems with air defense. President Volodymyr Zelensky said air defense is the biggest deficit. It is not for nothing that last month the Netherlands organized an emergency supply of radars and missile batteries to Ukraine. New batches of American Patriot and German Iris T anti-aircraft batteries were delivered. Depending on how the Ukrainian Air Force deploys these systems, Dolinkt Sevo could receive more reliable protection. For now, Ukrainian pilots may want to avoid the base. There are no obstacles to this, journalists write. With full tanks, the Su-25 flies several hundred miles. A subsonic attack aircraft does not need to fly from Dolinkt Sevo to get to the front line. The Ukrainian Air Forces has access to 20 major air bases, dozens of small airfields and highway airstrips scattered throughout the country. Moreover, Ukrainian pilots use unpredictability to complicate Russian target designation. Pilots almost never take off from an airfield and land at the same airfield, says General James Hecker, commander of US Air Force in Europe and Africa. The infrastructure and processes are in place to safely launch and recover the Su-25 from bases that are not subject to contact drone attacks. This will not protect low-flying and slow aircraft during risky attacks using unguided missiles, but it should protect them while they are on the ground before and after missions. The Ukrainians will not run out of Su-25s this summer or even this year. The Air Force entered the war with 30 fully serviceable Su-25s and another 13 that were undergoing major repairs. 
North Macedonia handed over four Su-25s and Ukrainian technicians restored and repaired approximately 30 old aircraft that had been in storage since the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991, the material says. The replenishment more than compensated for the 18 Su-25s that the Ukrainians lost in battle. It is possible that the 299th Tactical Aviation Brigade, the only Su-25 unit in the Ukrainian Air Force, actually has more operational aircraft than at the time of the full-scale Russian invasion.